guys. It's 20 to 6. We're on the job site. The sun isn't up yet. That's about to happen. Let's go. Let's go put the boots on. The boots are warmed up. Oh, she's bright. We got a ray. This is a job I've done. Still a bit dark. Concrete's not here yet, so that's good. She'll get lighter. We have concrete. Ready to go. I'll put you on time lapse down here and we'll see what we can get. A bit of action on. Royce is taping up his boots. Taping up his, oh, what are you doing? Taping up your knee. knee. What's wrong? It's fucked. He's got a fucked knee. Look. That's how you fucking That's what you call um. He got me knee good. How to strap your knee with duct tape. <laughs> <laughs> Aussie, um, what do you call it? Physio. <laughs> Concrete is physio. I've never seen that before, Royce. That's Bush the first. Doctors. Bush doctors, that's it. Oh, Trash flashed up. We're just shooting it all. Hopefully, it makes it across. Okay, let's go. It was a bit tricky pulling the concrete across, but it was nice mix. Nice and it wasn't too wet. It was nice and creamy. We just put a rail in. We had a high pin in the middle. I just went down this side with a 10 footer. Royce went down the other side with a 10 footer. It was really nice concrete. Really easy to screed. Good times. All right. That was this bit. I went down here. Royce is going the other side. Nice concrete. Really easy to screed. Float and crawl like nothing. Maybe run a bullfight over it. Nice to bullfight, Dave. Hey, nice to bullfight. Yeah, yeah. Nice to off. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> Uh, we got a bit of sun today, hopefully. Took ages for him to wash the oven off around the corner. Because um, it was in the shade all day. We've got the next truck here. It is 6.22 now, so concrete got here at 6. So it took us 20 minutes to put that truck in. Screw it off, done. Alright, let's go to the next spot. Waiting for the next truck now. Got, um, thought we'll be into it by now, but we're not. Had John told us for a second, but nothing happening yet. Done, done, done dinner. While we're waiting, let's just check out um Christine's new business it's called um, the event platter she's doing platters for different events check out these ones I made videos for on the weekend all right hope you enjoyed that all right, Maddie's on the sticky nice Maddie beautiful that's it, done. Just getting a bullfly that one's out there. You nearly hold it as flat or too, mate, you're nearly. Trying to hold it as nearly as flat where it just doesn't dig in. Yeah, beautiful. I love this mud. This is like American concrete or something, eh? This mud's like American concrete. <laughs> Soup and creamy. Easy time. Right. Action on. 6.30 and we already got some in and we're waiting for a truck already. Come on guys, bring us the mud. All right, we're just waiting for the truck. So Royce put a little bit of a, more of a pad in. So we can screen a little bit more. 
Remember, this is exposed concrete. So when you do exposed concrete, you want the concrete to be a little bit higher than it has to be, so you can cut stones back. You've got to constantly cut stones back. If you try to go over it and fill it in with slurry, you'll find that you'll, you'll have misses in the stones, and um, yeah, it won't look good when you wash it off. If, if you find that you have lots of misses where you, uh, there's no stone there and it's just concrete, it's just slurry, like the grey cement, that means you've, um, yeah, you put slurry in the hole instead of putting rocks in the hole. But when you do normal concreting, it doesn't matter. But in exposed, it means a lot. You can see this concrete was very nice, easy to move around. So you cut it down and see how I've got rocks underneath me all the way? So I know it's going to be right. In exposed concrete, every single mark you put in the concrete as you're screeding back or the ball float or the stick trail, it will show up later on. So you make sure. See, I'm putting the mud back in my, where my feet are and it's a bit higher than it has to be. Scraping off the boxing as we go. Best boxing to screed off, I'd say, is the plastic boxing. The timber boxing could have little bits of splinters in it and shit and you bounce up and down on it. But the plastic boxing, it just the screed just slides over it. So it's still a little bit higher there in the middle. Ray's pulling back for me. Old Ray, he's 62 years old. He's awesome. And Johnny, he was pulling back for me today too. All right, tips for now. Put the screed on the edge of the concrete too. Don't put it in the slab. Nice made a pad up. No, oh, we're still waiting too. Maybe not an hour and a half now, Johnny. <laughs> Where's the mud? They're slowing us down. Beautiful. All right, we'll wait for the next truck. We'll get this on time lapse over here. All right, the truck finally turned up. So we just put out the concrete again. We got a little bit of able flex against the wall there, so Royce magged it up. I just screwed it back towards there. We got height pins in the middle for our heights. That bit over at the back there actually falls back down and goes flat again. I end up screeding the rest of it. Royce and Dave are on the stick trail and on the bull float. Now I'm on the 12 footer, coming down the main part of the driveway. As you can see, Dave and Royce. Uh, Dave likes to bull float it and then he likes to stick trail the lines out like you've seen Matty do before. This whole job is just gonna be stick troweled and then sugared. Five minutes to eight. So it's taken us an hour and a half so far. We didn't have to wait for that truck before, but we'll have it in, I reckon. And we're waiting for a truck right now. Boys got it all. Stick trout, bull floated. Dave's into the stick trout already finished it. All right, Dave? It's all good? We might, there's a bit of shit on that. There's a bit of shit on that. Dirty. But I'm um, here. Yeah. All good, hope you guys are enjoying. Cause I am. Nearly at the end. One more big truck to go. Let's go. All right, all right. We're on. Sorry I haven't signed on today. I'm just too busy, it's flat out, like every every other day. <laughs> but um, hope you've enjoyed that time lapse so far. Hope you've enjoyed the last video. If you can subscribe, give us a comment, give us a thumbs up and share one of the videos for us. That would be awesome. At least give us a thumbs up. Come on, guys. There's over 2,000 people watching. I get like 100 thumbs up. Come on. I'm doing this all by myself. Working, making videos for you guys to watch. All you can do is give us a thumbs up. Come on. Anyway, we'll get back into it. It's going good. It's a smoke out break. We're just waiting for the next truck, like we said. Anyway, thanks for watching. All right. Today, we've got two new spray bottles. Dave brought this one. 
I got one of these at home from Master Finish. They're pretty good. But we got this one from Tomahawk. We're gonna test her out and we'll see how she goes. Which one do you think's better? Which one would you rather? Okay, it is 9.30 and we've got it all in now. We just screwed all that off with a fell footer. All the way. We've got a little door here. It's gonna go across the garage here. We haven't edged nothing yet. We haven't trowed nothing yet. Just bull floated and stick try out the lines out, that's it. There's a bit of a V in there. Comes down that way and that way. Falls out that way. And the same as a gate here, so it's dead flat across here. Good times. Small call time. So that took us, that would take us three and a half, nah, three hours probably. But then we had to wait probably an hour for truck, so. Hmm. Like if all the trucks come at once, Sometimes you can do it in an hour and a half, two hours. But when the trucks take so long to come, they break it up, it adds more time to putting the slab in. So um, yeah, you always gotta allocate for that. Make sure your trucks back up like 20 minutes apart, 40 minutes apart, whoever's on the screen, whoever can do it the quickest. And um, you wanna make sure that you don't do it too quick and the concrete's not ready yet. Because you're just sitting around and you make a cold joint anyway, so. Hmm. All right, we'll get back into it. We're going to test out that spray bottle, get it going. Time check, it's 10.30. And all this part is stick trout off now. All ready for sugar. Bit of shade here, but so it ain't gonna go too hard too quick in the shade. But the rest of it is all good. Looks really good. Get a shot from back here. Boom. Boom. Massive driveway. Royce and um, Dave have been stick trailing. Nice stick trailing, Royce there, mate. Beautiful. It's ready for sugar. What do you reckon? It's a concrete ninja's favorite drink. What? <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> okay. We have put some two-stroke fuel in to the girl. Put some water in. Had to add up another hose up in there. Make sure you put that hose up in there in before you put the water in, because I did and it just leaked out. <laughs> but anyway, we're learning as we go. That's what we do. All right, I'm gonna try to start her up and see what she does. Let's go. All right, here's a little clip of the Tomahawk spray bottle. Motorized one, two stroke engine. It pumped out the sugar really quick. And it shoots off a nice fine mist, but if you want to see the whole video of the spray bottle, unboxing it and using it for the first time, there will be a video after this video on my channel. So check it out. I was very impressed with that Tomahawk. Awesome work. Never used a petrol spray bottle before, but um, it definitely works. And we don't have to wait to charge it up. Just throw some petrol in and away we go. And she's definitely got the power. We've got that other little one over there and we didn't even use it. <laughs> it just smashed it out so quick. Hey, Matty, better than pumping that fucking yeah. little pump. <laughs> yeah, no sore arms now. No sore arms. Matty was filming there for me. Thanks, Matty. All right, we'll go back to the action. You know where it all is now. Everywhere. All the way to down here. the last bit. That went all right, eh? Yeah, that went good. Yeah. Ready to go. Matty's mixing up some sugar. We always mix the sugar and water up in a bucket. So you mix it up nice and good so it's not sitting on the bottom. A lot of people used to put like sugar straight in the, in the actual tub and then put the water in and no wonder why they got clogged up. I've got to say that I was one of those people once. <laughs> they used to do that. <laughs> I used to go for a shit cerebral every day. All right, I think Dave's waiting for me. Let's go. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to get one, don't worry. <laughs> Dave's on the manual pump. Oh, he's an old school pump too. <laughs> Antique, mate. Antique. 
And she works, but she's got, she's got the squirt to go straight out. We need to get this one going straight out. All right, we're gonna go spray this bit. <laughs> oh, oh, that's where the truck wheels were, right? A bit thicker there. Yeah. Maybe. Bring the moisture out of the ground. All right, I'll be back in about half, alright? Alright. We won't be washing off for like another hour and a half or something, no? Yeah, anyway, mate. two hours. It's three o'clock, I reckon. You reckon? Let it go hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, it's going to go harder today, I reckon. Is this all sugar here? No, just the, just the trench, Royce. Yeah, right. So you can stick to our, just don't go in the trench. We sprayed that bit down there. We sprayed just up to here. We haven't sprayed this part yet. We'll get it in a minute. So I'm saying when we do these, we just stick trailing. Spray them nice and flat. Ball float them, stick trailing. And they're done. All you're doing is pushing them rocks down flat. You don't want to lift your stick trail up too much because if you lift, lift your stick trail up too much, you'll actually flick the rocks up. And then you'll have little blowouts everywhere. Good so far. If you want to see the whole video of the spray bottle? I'll put a link in the bottom of this video. You can see me opening it and using it for the first time. Beautiful. All right, just away a little bit. She's on. Beautiful, Royce. Go to shit, mate. Okay, time check. It is one o'clock. And I got this all set up. Ray boxed it up. And, Danny <coughs> and Ray messed it, and I tied it with the gun. Thanks to Rapper Tool. See, we use the tie gun. Once again, only took me probably, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes, 10 minutes to tie it all. And I went through one and a half rolls of tie wire. I started it about here, so. Cool, cool. All ready to go. <laughs> We're just nearly ready to wash off. We just little sugar one more little bit and then done. Boys are just testing to see if it's ready to wash off. Beautiful. You just don't want to go deep on this shit because the stones are so tiny. Yeah, the only thing hey. you when you wash it off, you see, uh, just to hold your hose till no more shit comes out. So then patch it there, you know? The grey water goes away. That's it, the grey water. Rory, she told me that one years ago. Yeah. <laughs> Then I just figured the acid <laughs> You learned something different. <laughs> Don't go over where I'm Yeah. Where's your squeezies, Dave? Yeah, Johnny. Yeah. Get them two yeah, squeezies, Johnny. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Dave. I just, I don't know, everybody else. Can I just show you something? Like, so I just hold it on there so there's no more stuff that's meant to come off. Like that. Yeah. If, if it's hard enough, it won't, won't pull stone out. No, it shouldn't pull stone out. Yeah. And, and you know what? When you drop when it dries, you hardly even need an acid wash. Yeah. Yeah, you taught me that, Royce, years ago. Your acid is cleaning that off, don't you? Nah, but it doesn't get these bits here. Alright, let's go. Yeah. Upper? Yeah, I reckon that's probably one of the hardest bits. You can start on this side, will you? Mm hmm. Alright, let's get into it. I'm gonna wash off for a bit, I'll show you in a minute. It is quarter to two. And we've got a bit off. Looking pretty good. Look at the colour. Is 
I like fucking blue stone in it. Like cracker dust. And white stone. Probably the cheapest exposure you can get, eh, this stuff. Compared to all the other stuff. Dave? Is it Dave? Is it cheap? Is it what? No, it's no different than the other. Oh, dearer. Dearer? What? I think it would be cheaper. All right, we'll show you when we're nearly more off. It's three o'clock and we got most of it washed off all the way down to there. We gotta just wash off this bit right now. Let's go. All right, me and Dave are washing this little bit off. We ended up pulling out two hoses. It was a pretty big driveway and it was going hard. You don't wanna muck around when you're washing this stuff off with the sugar and water, you wanna get right into it because you can lose it still and it makes you don't lose it you just got to scrub a lot more like this section here was in the shade so we left it to right near the end but like we say the shade holds it back a lot so you got to wait she's done the whole thing is washed off now it's 200 about 230 squares or something Dave reckons it was so pretty good Hope you guys enjoyed. Right, I might send myself off there. That's the end of this video. It was a pretty big video. I'm pretty sure it probably goes for about 40 minutes. There's so many different things in here. But I have got another video on the pump. So make sure you go and check that out. The spray bottle from um, Tomahawk. That was awesome. If you want to send me some more stuff, Tomahawk, send me some more stuff. Your tools are pretty good so far. I'll give you 10 out of 10 for that one. I'll definitely be using it a lot and there's a lot of guys that want to have a go at it and want to suss it out because they want to get one as well. So, awesome work, Tomahawk. Thank you. Make sure to subscribe if you can. Give us a thumbs up and leave a comment if you like. I'll try to answer you. If you can give us a thumbs up, that'll be really good. The more thumbs up, the more people can see the videos and stuff. So, if you give us a thumbs up, I'll be very appreciative. Anyway, enough talking shit and I'll see you all tomorrow for this part. We'll be pouring this bit tomorrow, and it's all in the sun, so we should be able to do it really quick. All right, bye.